Hi everyone, this is Dr. S. Linus, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, CA, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Kadalur. In this video, we are going to discuss about a piece of information from Human Resource Management. Before going to that, we need to know what is mean by human resource management what are all the people or what are all the things that that are involved in human resource management in human resource management these factors or these things are involved in that personal people at work manpower staff employees so these are the uh, bigger terms that are used in human resource management. So we will discuss one by one in the upcoming slides. First, the definition of a human resource management. So human resource management can be defined as employing people. So it is simple as it is that HRM means employing people, developing their resources, utilizing, maintaining and compensating their services in tune with the job and organizational requirement. So <coughs> here they are clearly saying about the definition of HRM M it means employing people developing their resources so first we will employ the people and develop their resources and utilizing and compensating their services for job and organizational requirement so for organizational requirement and for the sake of job we employ people and we develop the employed people by giving lot of services and we recruit employees to develop their resources so these things are involved in human resource management uh, in the diagram they have clearly uh, given human resource means obtaining developing monitoring rewarding engaging so these are the terms are involved in that obtain means getting developing means exploring so monetary means we are just looking into the as a human resources a reward reward it says we are encouraging it is a kind of uh, encourage so engaging means we have to put a person in hundred percentage confident in that work so engaging means involved in the work or involved in something so these are the um, factors involved in human resource management next so directly we will go on nature of HRM so what is the nature nature of HRM human resource are all about the following things <coughs> as you are seeing in the slide there are 10 factors involved in HRM or 10 these are the 10 natures of human resource management in that first HRM is a part of management so we may know what is management so uh, 
HRM is a part and parcel of management. So if there is a management, there should be, there will be HRM, humans. <coughs> so human resource management will be there if there is a management. So what is there in the uh, part of management? What are the things will be involved? So here there will be selection of people and giving training to the people those are selected and motivating the selected people and appraising their performance for improving their quality of output <coughs> so once again the first nature of HRM is, is inherent part of management. So HRM is a part and parcel of management. It involves selecting people, training, motivating, appraising their performance for improving their quality. So we improve their quality for that we will, we are selecting those people and giving them training and motivating them and appraising their performance. So the second nature of HRM is pervasive function. So what it means? It represents present in all levels of management in an organization. So pervasive function means present in or exist in all levels of management in an organization so basically in an organization we have uh, three levels upper level middle level lower level so HRM are in all levels <coughs> so it is a second nature of HRM so what is the third nature of HRM action oriented so HRM means action oriented what it says what it represents action oriented means solve problem through rational or balanced policies rather than record keeping so action oriented nature it represents solving problem rather than just recording them into a note or recording them so it is an action based nature so it is its nature is action oriented so this is the third nature of HRM so what is the fourth nature of HRM pupil oriented so HRM is all about pupil oriented what it says exactly, HRM is all about people at work, assign job, produce results, reward, motivate them towards improvement in productive, productivity. So, people oriented refers to HRM is all about people oriented. How it is people oriented? we assign job we produce a results a rewards and motivate them towards improvement in the productivity we just motivate them to produce more and more <coughs> and we assign jobs to the employees we produce results for their work and we give a reward for the employee so these are the things are involved in the nature of nature of fourth nature that is people oriented so the fifth nature of HRM is future oriented so HRM is all about future oriented policy so it is a fifth nature what is mean uh, future oriented effective HRM helps organization meet it goals so it represents all HRM activities are helps in 
meeting their future goals so they will face future goals they will achieve future goals every hrm hrm is bound to attain or gain or achieve future goals this is the nature of hrm so the sixth nature of hrm is development oriented hrm is fully based on development so what it means hrm develops full potential of employees through reward training job rotation so these are the three things they develop their uh, employees how they develop their employees this is the sixth nature how they develop their employees by giving a reward and they train their employees and they give job rotation facility so one person will be working in the one position for few months and he will be bound to work in the next level of field in another few months so the place of work will be rotated monthly or yearly based on the requirement the seventh nature of hr means integrating mechanism hrm maintains coordinated relationship between people working at various levels in organization what it represents it is a seventh nature so hrm maintain cordial relationship so hrm maintains a relationship between the people <coughs> wherever they work so in all levels of organization as i have already said there are three levels of management so in three levels of management in all the levels of management hr maintains a equal relationship so this is the point second nature of hr is this then the eighth nature of hr is comprehensive function what is represents what is mean by comprehensive function workforce signifies people working in working at all levels hrm differs with form and shape but the basic objective of effective utilization of human resource remains the same they have clearly saying hrm differs with form and shape but the basic objective of effective utilization of human resource remains the same so what they are try to say <coughs> hrm differs in shape and the form but the objective did not change the objective remains the same that is effective utilization of human resources this is the main and major objective of hrm effective utilization of human resources so this is the eighth objective that is comprehensive function comprehensive function uh, represents effective utilization of human resources the ninth function is continuous function so hrm is a Uh, hrm performs a continuous function non stop function regularly they are working no break so continuous hrm is a continuous function this is the ninth nature so the final nature of hrm is based on human relation so what they are trying to say in this tenth nature every person has different need perception and expectation the manager should give due attention to these factors so there are three factors that every person has every person has different need perception and expectation so every person has these three factors so the manager should give attention to these factors according to their 
according to the employees for every employees need one employee needs so one employee's uh, need is differ from another employee's need of course and one uh, one uh, some uh, employee's perception is differ from uh, other group of employees uh, those perception so uh, all the employees are not same so they differ by needs perception and expectation so these are the nature of hr so uh, today with this we will complete and tomorrow we will see a next concept a new concept in the hr with that i will complete my session thank you ananda